say. Here's our first video we're trying of the pups. Is it? Gotta shove the other ones under the table. Be back. Back. We're having just a little issue with everybody. Now lie down. Be get back. This is puppy number one. This is a little female. She's got her her sleeves on the front. She's got the long black sleeve on the right hand front leg. And she's got the short boots on the back. Very white belly. Noisy little thing right now. Almost a full collar, just a little smidge missing there. But it'll be a nice full collar on her. Sorry, not very good with this camera. A nice full collar anyway here, very, very full. Very fancy. Nice face on her, nice balance, not too much white. Nice balance of the black and white and the, and the proportions of it. Yeah, you're a pretty girl, aren't you? So that is our puppy number one. And that is a female. And I believe she was just under 600 grams for her, this would be about a three day wait. Uh, this is Wednesday. They were born Saturday night, Saturday evening. So it's just about a three-day wait on them, which is a good growth rate. Nell, get back out of the litter. Nell, back. They're fine. No, leave the puppy in there. Thank you. So this is our puppy number one today. She's a nice little girl. So we're going to give her back to mom. There. Okay, now we're going to puppy number two. Well, I forgot to turn the scale on. Okay. Here's our weight. She's a little bit lighter. 400 and uh, looks like 4, 446, 445. Now she's not got as much collar around, but still a nice balance. She's got the long sleeve on the left side instead of the right. More collar on the left, on the right. Sorry, because I'm looking backwards. Still a nice balance to color over her face. Now her face markings go right through to sorry, right through to the to the to the collar. So she'll look very pretty. Little slippers on the back. She's got her tip of her tail like she's supposed to. Nice white on the belly all the way through. Very well proportioned pup. Looks very good. Everything's healthy on there. Nice pretty little girl. She might be just slightly smaller than some of the others. Oops. I'm in I'm making a shadow there. And there you go. So that is that would be female number two. because I'm not very good at this camera, we're just gonna give her back to mom and go on with puppy number three. So I'll touch the scale there. Give this one to mom. And now we're gonna go to female number three, which has lots of white on her. Now she's a bit bigger. Now she's 650, 655 in there, somewhere in there. 655, gonna balance. Yeah, about 6.55. So, here she is. I'm gonna turn the scale off. Here she is now. She's got full white sleeves up to her, to her elbows on both sides. She's got a full collar all the way around. There's gonna be lots of white here. And something unusual for a pup from us is a full white face. This is almost unheard of. We've had some with pretty much white faces, but never a full white face. So this is a one and probably a once, once out. And she's got nice high uh, slippers on her back feet all the way up to the knuckle. This is female puppy number three. And she's got a full white belly on her. And she's a nice, big, strong girl. This will be a really good pup to somebody. Both ears are black, which is kind of cute. Her ear is still all black on both sides, a little spot on her top of her head. She's a really pretty little pup, but very odd for one of ours. Very different for a pup from us. 
So there you go. That's female number three. I'm going to set the scale. And we're going to give her back to mom. And let's see if I can pick female number four. Nope, that's the male. B, get out. Here we go. This is female number four, and she's going to look just like her big sister BJ over there. Hey, B, look up. She's going to look just like BJ. She's got just that little white spot on her back, and she is 600 grams, so she's looking good. So we're going to put her on the table here so you can get a good look at her. Now this one actually is going to be a bit of a tricolor, which is also quite amazing. We very rarely get the tricolors in our pups either. It goes back to one grandmother, I'm told, in the background on, I believe it's Nell's side, on her, on her dam side, about three back is a tricolor female and that's where the tri comes out so this one will have a little bit of tan here a little bit of tan oops sorry it helps if i have you in the picture a little bit of tan on the front of the leg here and the front of the leg here you notice a little bit on the face around her eyes you'll see a little tan there on the back leg here, you'll see a little bit just in front of the of the hawk. I guess you'd call it right here on the on the 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 kind of the hip joint, just below the hip joint. And you see a little bit of tan here coming on the other side. You barely see it in this light, but she will be very much like big sister B. Turn around, B. B J. Turn around. Stay. Stay. With the one white, you see her one white spot under her collar. You can hardly see it with her collar there. She's got the the one white spot on her on her neck. Everything else is black. Her and a couple other females that we have over over time. Uh, Star and I think uh, Annie are all like that. Uh, she's got quite uh, nicely marked, very very even markings on her legs. If you can see that. Don't know if I can fix. Yeah, there you go. Let me switch hands. You see her legs are quite quite similar going up. Nice markings on her chest. Very balanced. Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? She's just missing BJ's heart on her chest. She'll have that one spot on the back. And a very nice looking pup. Not a lot of not a lot of white on her belly. Oh yeah, you're a noisy thing, aren't you? And that'll be our little girl number four. Hey, little girl number four. She's a very nice little baby. So we're going to set her back over here with mom and reset, lie down now, and reset the uh, scale. And we're going to flip over to male number one. Yep, stay in, the, stay in the tray. And he is 560 grams. He's got a really nice uh, collar on him. I think he has a full collar. Nice sleeves. Oh, we're getting crap on our table. If I get my shadow out of here. So he's got nice sleeves going all the way up. Good full collar all the way around. Very nicely balanced on both sides. Nicely balanced face, not too much white. It's a little off, but not bad. He'll still be very pretty that way. Good size to him. Nice little, little uh, his feet match on the back. A little bit more on one than the other, but not much. Nice good size tab on his tail. Well, oh, our scale's blowing away in the wind here. Yeah, let's take a look at your belly, honey. Roll over, he doesn't want to roll over. There you go. Nice white belly on him. Hey, you good boy? Yeah. So that is our boy number one, and we're going to surprise you here because boy number two looks just like girl number four. Hi, Nelly Nell. So here we go. Our scale is zeroed out. Nope, stay in the scale, honey. Stay in the scale. There you are. Stay still. 
So this pup is 470 on his three day wait. And there you go. He looks almost exactly like female number four, but he has a bit more white on him, a bit more on the face and a bigger spot on him. Three quarter sleeves on the front, just little slippers on the back and a nice tab on his tail. Very energetic, moving quite well. I'll get out of the other B, can you back off from the pups, please? Thank you. Lie down. There you go. Good girl. See, B has a heart on her chest, which I haven't had in any other pup yet. There you go. So this is our male number two from BJ's litter, or not, sorry, not BJ's litter, Nell's litter, born August the 4th. 2018 and there's Nell there doing good happy 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 aren't you Nell just a happy girl as long as BJ stays back far enough and this is male number four so hopefully I'll be able to upload this video for everybody to see you can read, get more about our information about us at wall to wall border collies.com that's www.wall the numeral two w a l l b o r d e r c o l l i e s dot com c o m and you can reach me at area code 204 529 2663 or there is an email contact on our website, Wall to Wall Sheep. BJ, get your head down before you knock my table. You can reach us at wall to wall sheep at yahoo.ca. And thank you for your interest in our border collie. Say goodbye, B. BJ, say goodbye. Say goodbye, Ted. So we're going to give this little guy back to mom and zero out our camera and say thank you. For joining us today, lay down now. Down, there we go. Thank you for joining us today. Where are we missing? Oh, here we are. Over here. There's our missing one. Lie down. Whoop. <laughs> Everybody fell off. So thank you for joining us today at Wall to Wall Border Collies. There's Dad over there herding the cats. There's nothing else to do. Got to herd kittens. He's keeping them all in line, aren't you, Skitty Dog? And those two kittens there are for sale. You can see them too at Wall to Wall Border Collies at YouTube. You can catch more of us there. Those kittens are for sale as well. Here's Skitty Dog. Say hello, Skitty Dog. And there's one of his pups going to him. There you go. He's starting to get to be an old man there. He's starting to get gray on him. His hair's starting to change color a bit getting the silver going anyway there you go thank you for joining us today we are in Cartwright Manitoba and you're visiting Wall to Wall Border Collies and I hope you have a really good day thank you for joining us bye bye